Hi, my name is Jim Knustrup, and in this video, my partner Vivian Lowe and I are going to give you a quick demo of our Connect Archery project. So you can see here there are two archers who shoot at each other, and each player controls one of the archers using gestures that are recognized by the Connect. This is the software that allows the Connect to communicate with Scratch or BYOB called Connect to Scratch. The software in the Connect is able to identify different body parts and create this stick figure on the right, where each of the colored dots represents some body feature that can be tracked within Scratch. Now once you've got Connect to Scratch running, you can open up the Sensing tab to see where you'll be receiving the Connect data. Look down here at this reporter block that says Sensor Value. Take a look at all these values. Do you remember that stick figure we were looking at before? These are all of those colored points, and each of these sensor values represents the X or Y coordinate of those points, as they would be translated to the screen. Now once you got these values, you can start to program some gestures. I made some pretty basic ones for use here in the game, which I'll show you. First I made it so that in order to fire an arrow, you need to make a loading gesture. This is done by moving your hands together. The program checks to see if your hands are somewhat close together in x-coordinates, and if they are, it sets can shoot to true, and a loaded arrow is visible. The aiming of the bow is done by pointing the arrow sprite towards the x and y coordinates of my right hand, with some slight adjustments to make it feel more natural. You'll have to play around in your own programs to make the visual feedback feel right. Now in order to shoot the arrow, you need to move your left hand across the body. The triggering event is when the left hand crosses the x-coordinate of the hip. It's not terribly sophisticated, but it gets the job done. You can try to play around and make more gestures in your own programs, but since these values need to be continuously checked for and updated, things can really slow down if you throw in too much stuff. So be careful and build up slowly. Okay, thanks for watching, and have fun!